What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another episode of The Road to Glory. The first thing you're about to see, or the first thing you're seeing, is I went and bought Gareth Bale for 454000 As you guys remember from the last episode, we sold Frank Rijkaard. Uh, I also went and bought Eric Bailly and put him back into the team. And this has sparked a movement of moronic, mor mor moronicy. Let's, call, let's make that a thing, moronicy. We're going to make that a thing. And what that thing means is when you're being a moron constantly. And that's what I'm doing right now. And I am doing, I am being an idiot and I'm not being an idiot at the same time. Remember last year, we spent a lot of coins on useless SBCs. That's pretty much it actually. And it stunted our growth through foot champs and through uh, progressing as a FIFA player, not buying the meta players. Well, this year I haven't done that and I've built towards a good team. But what I've done is I've got to a point where my team is very good but it's not i'm not happy with it and it takes so long now to upgrade to the next player that i find myself buying and selling a lot of players you know we bought and sold uh, desai and mateus icons we bought and sold rykard icon we bought and sold vidal boateng alaba and Neuer twice um you know the only people we've really stuck with was alessandrini Henri, at costa and pogba Everybody else has interchanged throughout the year. And I'm at a point right now where I'm still not happy with my team. You know, I look at the best teams in FIFA. I look at the guys who are, you know, top 100 and who finish uh, high quite quite often. And they have a staple of certain players. And they do have very similar players to me in many regards. You know, they have um, Paul Pogba, which I have. They have uh, Frank Rijkaard. They have Hullet. They have Ronaldo. They have Messi. And of course, we have Messi. Now we have Bale. I see Bale a lot. But for me personally, I'm just not there. And so what I've been doing a lot recently is buying and selling players and not making profit off them. You know, I saw last year A and I skills got some stick for buying a player, enjoying him and then selling him. And I know for a fact he didn't do that to generate profit or anything like that because he finishes top 100 anyway. So he gets coins. It doesn't make any difference. For me as well, these players that I'm buying, it's, I'm actually having double negative effects when I do something. For example, today I tweeted out that I wanted to buy Rude Hullet instead, or, or actually I tweeted out should I try and buy Rude Hullet instead of Paul Pogba because I've got some coins. You'll see through the the end here. You know, I could sell Pogba, I could buy Hullet. Should I do it? And I just put a poll out. And what that what happened off the back of that is the three cheapest Rude Hullets. At uh, one one point one eight, one point one nine, and one point two, immediately went. That literally, as I tweeted it, within minutes of me tweeting, they immediately went. So the price now of me buying Hullet, should I buy him? Sh you know, depending on what the poll says and what my thought process is, the price of me wanting Hullet has now gone up by a hundred thousand coins because the next cheapest is now one point three million. And the same thing happened with Vieira. When I wanted to buy Vieira, he was one point one million or less. And now he's about 1.25 to 1.28 million. And it's, it's just because I want to buy him. So when I buy a player, if I announce that I want to buy him before I actually buy him, their price goes up. And then when I bought him, everybody's like, oh, I don't actually want this player. They sell them, they get rid of them, and the price comes down and I lose out. So what I've been doing is I've been buying and selling players so much that I feel like I've lost anywhere from 100 to 300,000 over the last two weeks in tax. And I, I, I've got to stop that. So what I want to do today, why I was trying here and why I bought Bale and stuff is I'm trying to find the right team that I'm going to be comfortable with for a few weeks because we need a few weeks of rewards. We need a few weeks of foot champs rewards and a few weeks of squad battles rewards. And we're going to talk about squad battles a little bit later on in the video because this week specifically, I'm probably not going to play squad battles this weekend, Lee, uh, this weekend in general. But, um, yeah, I need, I need to get a team that I know I'm going to stick with for a while. And I can't do that when I'm unhappy with what I've got. You know, we bought Messi, we bought Bale, we bought Rijkaard, Desai, Mateus. We've gone through a lot of players recently. And although on some of them I made some profit, you know, Rijkaard I made some profit on. Um, Desai, I think I lost a little bit of tax on. Rijkaard I made some... No, Matthias. Yeah, Matthias and Rijkaard I made a bit of profit on, but Desai I took a big loss on. The selling and buying back of Neuer, Alaba, Boateng and Vidal have taken a little bit of loss on, on those as well, you know. So I want to find that team that I'm just going to be content with, I can just grind with and, and work out where to go with. Now, in terms of squad battles, guys, 
after last weekend, you know, it's, it's been coming. We've been talking about it a fair bit, actually, and some of you guys have been sharing the same sentiments. But FIFA, for me, is getting to that point where, I, like, when, when the game first came out, I, I couldn't get enough of it, you know? I, I would play as long as I possibly could on the game. Squad battles, divisions, foot champs, friendlies, playing against YouTubers and friends and stuff. I just played and played and played. And I knew over time I would get tired of it. It would grow to become a chore. And the first weekend of Foot Champs, you know, I'm playing 70 to 80 games of FIFA over the course of the weekend because I've got 40 Foot Champs games. I've got games for Draft to Glory, um, the best team in FIFA, Fatal. Uh, I've got games for Squad Battles, which is another, you know, a further 28 games. So you're looking at a minimum of 68 games from Friday to Sunday night. Uh, potentially upwards of 70 to 80 games. So we could say like an average of 88, 80 games over the course of the weekend. And the first two or three weekends, that was great. You know, I'm getting top 100 in squad battles. I'm getting good rewards in, in foot champs. And, and I loved the grind and I enjoyed it. Every week, week on week, it's become more and more and more of a chore. And although I really, really, really love the fact that I can get top 100 in squad battles every week without fail, you know, I'm a top 100 squad battles caliber player. That's just a fact. The squad battles is such a detriment to my enjoyment of FIFA, my, my, my lifestyle. You know, I just don't have time in my day to do general day-to-day -day things because I'm so busy playing and grinding FIFA that I might start doing one week on, one week off with squad battles. So I'll do one week where I just go to Elite 1 or maybe even Elite 2 because it's only 15,000 coins more. Uh, get those two mega packs, get the 25k coins and just play to Elite 2 because I could do that Monday through Friday and then play a couple of games over the weekend as I need to to stay in Elite 2. And then the next week I'll go top 100 again and then I'll take a week off and, and go next week go top 100 again for until EA change how squad battles works or until they change how the rewards are because I don't think, you know, you're playing 45 games through the course of the week and... Early on in FIFA, I was an advocate for squad battles because what you get out of it over the course of a long period of time is a lot. You know, 45, uh, what do I get? 65k coins from top 100, maybe a 100k pack and two mega packs. That's a lot. But not at this stage in FIFA. At this stage in FIFA, that's actually not a lot because it's unlikely you're going to get anything good out of the pack. So it's just the coins that you're stacking up. You know, you, you're making a nice amount of coins from the matches and from the coins that you're earning. You're making some decent coins from the packs. But when you've got a team as good as mine is, that little bit that you get doesn't really chip away until you get lucky. And the way pack luck works is it doesn't matter if you finish silver one or top 100. If you're lucky, you're lucky. And if you're not, you're not. That's just how pack luck works. So uh, unless EA change the number of rewards you get in squad battles, which I don't think they will, or unless they change how the games are played over the course of the weekend, which again, I don't think they will, um, I'm going to probably start taking a week on a week off of squad battles because I just, I need some time in my life. You know what I mean? I need to not have an 80 game weekend grind every single weekend without fail. Um, and it's a shame, but what might come of it is, so this weekend, for example, I'm going to be taking the weekend off of squad battles. I'll, I'll make sure I get elite two, maybe elite one. I'm already in a real good spot. I'm only, I'm barely outside top 100 anyway, because I've had a bad week, but my head's just not in it, you know? So I'm, I'm being lazy. I'm not changing my formation when I need to. I'm not trying to get the corners. I'm not trying to get the shots. I'm just doing a bare minimum to scrape the points and it's showing. Um, but what I'm hoping is this weekend, by taking the weekend off of squad battles, I'm going to be able to focus a lot more on foot champs. So if, if it has a positive impact on my foot champs results, you know, if I get elite two as a minimum this week, I will give up squad battles probably a lot more because if, if it benefits me in foot champs, I will get, like, instead of going Elite 3 Foot Champs Top 100 Squad Battles, Elite 1 Foot Champs is better than Elite 3 Top 100 combined. So that's what I'll go with, you know, if, if that's the way. That, that's where I'll go to. So uh, we'll have to see how that goes, guys. Anyway, I tried, uh, I tried, I played through some divisions, just trying out some new stuff. I was trying out some custom tactics. I was trying out a new formation. I tried the 4-4-2. Didn't like it at all. Um, so I didn't stick with it. Switch back to the 4 one 2 one 2 It's definitely my formation is the 4 one 2 one 2 this year. I do enjoy the 4 3 2 one as well, um, but I've just not practiced with it enough to know whether or not I can take it into foot champs anyway. But this is going to be the end of the gameplay, guys. We're now going to go in and get our rewards. I hope my reward luck is good. Let's find out. All right, guys, so rewards are here. As you would have seen in the video, we did go and pick up Gareth Bale. He's currently injured. 
Um, our team looks good right now. The next upgrade is going to be Patrick Vieira. Um, I'm not. I'm. I'm actually just not happy with the team. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with me. I don't know what the problem is. I want Vieira ASAP, um, and I want Hullet as well ASAP. But I just. I just don't know what's wrong with the team now. Um, our rewards today, obviously we've got Elite 3, we got it by the skin of our teeth, we managed to pick it up super late on in the uh, Foot Champs uh, Weekend League. And I'm also unhappy with squad battles at the moment, you know, I'm at Elite 1, I'm about 100, what, about 4, about 1000 points outside top 100, and that's because I'm just not playing well. As you can see here, I've got a 4-0 and a 3-1, and I'm, I'm prob probably, almost definitely, going to not play Foot Champs, sorry, squad battles this weekend. I'll make sure I keep myself in Elite 1. I might allow myself to slip down to Elite 2 because it's the same in terms of pack. It's just that extra 15k coins. Um, and the reason being, guys, I'm actually just getting a little bit burnt out of, of, of everything. And, and I do wonder if, if I don't do squad battles over the weekend, I might be able to push on to Elite 1 a little bit more consistently. And, you know, last week I got 50th. Mega Packs is the same. All we got was a bonus 100k pack. And if I only finish in top 100 this week, all we'll get is a bonus 50k pack. So for 50,000 extra coins, I would be better off going for Elite 1 in Foot Champs instead of uh, top 100 in Squad Battles. So for this weekend, and this weekend only, uh, what I think I'm going to do is just give Squad Battles a rest, put everything into my Foot Champs, and see how much of an impact it makes on my Foot Champs results by not playing Squad Battles. Um, I'm in Division 1 right now. We're, we're in a good spot, not a great spot. If I lose, uh, or if I don't win the remaining three, uh, I won't win the title. Uh, I took a couple of losses early on, just stupid play, really. I, was, I started trying to use a 4-4-2, um, because uh, one of the top guys uses it, and I uh, thought, hey, if, if it works for him, let me just try it. You know, that was kind of my thought process. Let me try it out. And it, it wasn't good for me. So I lost both of those games. And that was actually why I went and bought Gareth Bale. Uh, my aim was to play uh, Costa. As you can see, I've given him a catalyst. I was to play Costa at the right-hand side. Uh, Vidal and Pogba in the middle. Messi on the left-hand side. Bale and Henri up front. Turns out that didn't work out. So now what I'm doing is I've, I'm in a 4-1-2-1-2 right now with this team. And uh, we're playing um, Costa at left centre mid. Messi in at Cam. And Vidal in at, um, well, hold on, let me, there you go. That's how the team looks in game now. And I, although I don't mind Vidal as a cam, 5'11", high, high, four-star weak foot, sorry, as a CDM, that's not bad at all. I don't think that this is the best way to utilise a squad. So if I can today get Vieira, I will. Well, I, I, I can, right? I just can. What I'm tempted to do is to sell Messi. I know I've enjoyed him. He's done great for us. You know, 41 goals, 21 assists in 35 games. But I can sell Messi and Vidal and go and get Vieira and just put Alessandrini back in the team for another week. Alessandrini has been amazing for me. Um, so yeah, it, I don't, I just, I just don't know at this current stage exactly where I'm going. So let's go and claim our foot champs rewards now. I made some um, some purchases. We're up to two hundred twenty thousand coins. I made a couple of purchases. I uh, bought Higuain. Uh, where is it? I bought, I mean, you'll see everything that I bought here. I bought, what did I buy? Forsberg for 1.3k. How much is he now? About the same, really. So, didn't really help out too much. Payet, I bought for 3.5k. Looks like he's about the same. I'm going to list them all back up uh, for a little bit extra. But I bought a couple of the big dudes. I bought, I think I actually bought two Higuaines. Um, bought some Bernardo Silvers. There you go. There's one Higuain. I bought him for 62k. Because I expected the prime icons to be heavy on, on these players. And it looks like he's now about 70,000. Maybe 75,000. 79 there, not bought. So yeah, there's a 78 there, not bought. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to now list them up for... We're going to go like like that. Uh, 75k. So And I've got another one as well. Falcao bought for 3.4k. He's gone down, if anything. Um, I'll get rid of these players over time. And there's the other uh, Higuain that I picked up for 60k this one. Um, so I might, might make a few K here or there on those dudes. Maybe not. Um, and then we've just got some other players that are just around doing some bits here or there. This kit will sell. This uh, silver right back should sell as well. Got him from Bronze Pack Method. Maybe had him in the club already. Um, if those Higuain's only sell for 70K, I still would have made, you know, 5, 6K a, a card. Not too bad. 
Um, Pastores I bought for 2.2k. These guys will most definitely go up. Yeah, they look like they're about 3.5k. In fact, let me list him at 3.5 and see if he immediately sells. If he does, that would have been a, a good purchase because I, I, I know that because he's got a special card in packs, that his price is going to go up. So I'll sell all of this in a second anyway off camera because I don't want this video to run on too long. I've got three packs. I've got a gold pack from um, a, uh, a daily challenge or a weekly challenge. I can't remember what. So we get nothing out of that as, as expected. Now, my Foot Champs rewards. Ooh. Hello, Valbuena. What are we looking at? A couple of K? For the Roberto Carlos SBC? That's nice. Um, my Foot Champs Team of the Week pack, I'm honestly expecting absolutely nothing. Because I've opened two top 100k packs. Uh, you can go and see that on the main channel. If you missed that, go and watch it now before I spoil it. Because this is spoiler alerts. In that, they got nothing. None of the big players. So I'm not expecting any of the big players personally myself either. Because if I can't get a big player in an 11 man pack, how am I expected to get a big player in a 3 man pack, right? So I'm not holding up higher regard for my rewards here. But let's see what we get in our 100k pack. It's a shine, so it is a board player. Is it going to be a good board player, EA? It's Spanish. It's a centre mid. It's Cesc Fabregas. That's not bad. That's actually quite good. He's going to sell for about 30k. And I will get rid of him straight away. Is he? He's a walkout, but he's not a walkout. That's interesting. Cesc Fabregas is uh, pretty decent. There could also be some other decent players in here. Is there going to be? No. Uh, well, not really uh, any stretch of imagination. So Fabregas, we're looking at 24k... Maybe 20,000 coins for Fabregas. And I'm, I'm just going to sell him straight away. I will do that to get rid of him. I want those coins. Uh, I want to get. I want to sell him and him as well. Also, Medell might sell. The rest of these guys, for the time being, will send into the club. And unfortunately, no big, big cards again there. But an 86 Fabregas, not too bad. And now for our premium team of the week pack. Belgium or France? Belgium or France? Please, EA. Belgium or France? Who's it going to be? German. Mustafi! That's good! I didn't expect that. I'm very, very happy with that. That is as good as the best player I pulled for the guys who had the top 100k packs. The top 100 packs, not 100k packs. Now, the beauty of this is... Is that we could also potentially... Potentially... Have... Nate Golan... Icardi, Insigne, Callum Wilson, Raphael uh, Cruiser. We can't get Hazard, we can't get Pogba, we can't get Vidal. But Nangolan could still be in here. Come on EA, give me a, hit me with it. No, that's not bad. I expected far, far worse. I am very, very content with that. For a, a, an Elite 3 pack where I scraped Elite 3... I am very content with that. So Mustafi right now is probably down at about 100,000 coins. Um, maybe 110 by the looks of things. 109 there. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to list him. And for me, guys, getting rid of these immediately is important. Because with Black Friday starting tomorrow, they're only going to go down and down and down. Because they're going to be packed consistently and constantly. Uh, Cruiser right now. Now, this is a good card. Remember when I used him at the start of the year? I like this card. Insane Composure. Great shooting, great passing. As a cam, he would work. He just doesn't fit into my team, unfortunately. Uh, Max Cruiser is currently going for 32k. I think that might be Xbox price, though. So maybe 35k on PlayStation. There's a 39, a 44. Yeah, I've seen no 35s down this late. Uh, so we'll pop him up for like. We'll do. We'll do that. We'll list him at 33k, and then Castro is, according to this, this is a discard in form. So maybe we'll get like 12k for Castro, right? 11.75k, uh, I'll list him up as an 81 rated in form. I'm happy with that. I'm, I'm actually, with that Fabregas, and then with the three big informs, Castro's gone straight away. We're going to get 150k for the Higuains. 150, 160, 170, 270, 300. That'll put us over 500k. How much is Vieira? Apparently, I've sold 99 items as well now, so that's uh, that's pretty interesting. So Patrick Vieira is now. Has he come down at all? 1.2. So 1.1.2 million is what I need for Patrick Vieira. 
Now I could sell Lionel Messi, use Alessandrini, and get Vieira. I've got some. I've got a lot of coins in these cards, and I could downgrade. You know what I mean? I could sell Bale as well. I bought Bale. I could sell him straight away again. Oh, didn't mean to use that. That's a mistake. I don't know what I want to do for the immediate for the, for this weekend league. I bought it for 450k after selling Frank Rijkaard, of course. How much is Bale right now? If I've made profit on Bale, I will sell him just because I can make profit on Bale. Gareth Bale is up to 470 on PlayStation. So if I sold him, that would be 47k, halved about 22k. I wouldn't make money, but I wouldn't lose money. That's interesting. 470 for Bell. But there's a 470 open bid on him there. 478. 480. So 478 is the lowest that's there. So if I actually listed him for 475, I would I'm gonna I'm gonna get rid of Bale. What I what I tell you uh, this might be stupid, but what I kind of want to do is let's list him for 473, just as a weird price. I know, right? I bought him, I played like almost no games with him and I've sold him. Lionel Messi, I bought for 800k. I would lose out on a bit of tax on him. He looks like he's about 810. Um, I, I, I could... I don't know. I don't know. I just don't know. I honestly don't know. I don't know where I'm going or what I'm doing. I'm more than happy to put Valencia back into the team. Right, we put Rui Costa back up, not Valencia, um, Alessandrini. I'm also more than happy to put Matuidi back into the team. So again, we're in this spot here, where if I sell, well, I'm selling Bale. If I also sell Messi for 8-10, Let's say, let's say just give or take 800k after tax. That puts us to 1 million. 1.15 million. 1.25. That put me at like 1.6, 1.7. Not only would I be able to afford Vieira quite comfortably, I would also be able to potentially... Well, I could get Ruud Hullet, but I think Vieira is a guy that I'd want. Unless I could get the 88, sorry, the 90 Rude Hullet. I can't, I'm miles away, absolutely miles away from that Rude Hullet. I think I'm going to, it would leave me with like 400k as well. I could have sold, something sold, I bet Bale sold. I could have sold Messi and not Bale and got Vieira. And Bale did sell. So that puts us back up to 700k. Do I just go and get Vieira instead of Matuidi? Put Vieira at CDM, Pogba and Vidal outside, Costa back in at Cam, Alessandrini and Henri at Striker. Works for me, I think, dudes. I think I'm just going to get rid of uh, Lionel Messi. I feel like, what a waste, right? What a waste. Um, Messi, according to Footbin, is selling for... <clears throat> 8.14 is his lowest. I paid 800k for him. So I'm going to lose a, like, a little bit on tax. Um, but let's get rid of Messi as well. Alessandrini can go back in. Matuidi is going to go on the bench. So we're going to have Kimmich and Matuidi as defensive minor midfielders or outside midfielders. And we're going to have Valencia as an attacker. And that's going to be fine. Uh, what else have I got in terms of the club? Well, I've still got that Petit. Kramaric, Fekir... Not really interested in Fekir. Brandt, he hasn't got any composure, has he? No, don't want him. Uh, could bring on Aaron Moy. Not really interested in him too much either, though. Uh, in terms of gold cards, I, I want to sell all of these. I absolutely want to sell all of this. I'm going to sell all of this right now. We'll see what we're left with afterwards. Who knows? Who knows what we'll be left with? I'm also tempted to buy David De Gea. Um, I might be able to get back to being able to purchase... Uh, Rykard back. I think that might be my next move. So what we're going to do, guys, today is once these sell, I'm going to go and buy Patrick Vieira, uh, which we might not see until tomorrow's episode. If Messi sells within like the next minute or so, then I'll buy him now. If not, then uh, I won't. 
And then with everything else that sells, I'm going to start putting that money towards buying back Frank Reichard because I actually really enjoyed Frank Reichard. So uh, I'd be happy to do that. So Vieira is going to be in my foot champs team this weekend league. And it's going to look exactly like this. That's how my team's going to look at the start and of course switch to in-game. I think this is a much more frightening team than the one that had Desai and Mateus and Rijkaard. You know, we've got some huge players here. We've got good fortune, in my opinion, real good fortune from our um, Elite 3 packs. You know, we've got Fabregas, which is one of the best players we've packed out of the 100k packs. We've got Mustafi and Max Kruser out of the uh, Inform pack, which is fantastic. This, though, guys, is going to be the end of the video for today. If you did enjoy it, be sure to leave a like, rating, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. But for now, guys, I'm out. Peace.